This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edge Reviews Journey Investigations, everybody. We're finally cross examining someone after like two hours. <laughs> We're still yeah. continuing the very beginning of Turnabout of Boys. This is a holy cow, really long case. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, one of she... the top three longest cases in the series, I'd say. All of a sudden, Sheena gets away and runs off like Callisto you, and then you have a chase sequence like LaRoche when he gets away. <laughs> and then you realize they are two different people, anyways. <laughs> There's no way I can convince Marty otherwise, so no, we're literally really. just gonna wait until it's either revealed or not. <laughs> they may have confirmed it, but are you telling me that there is no one who can catch the people? Actually, it's just like, it's left to the audience's interpretation <laughs> if they're the same. <laughs> <laughs> if so, you're basically admitting that the Yadagrasu that committed murder eluded us. It's like that musical where, um, oh. you, you watch the musical and it's a murder mystery. And ha like halfway through it's at intermission, you put in your vote to see who actually, like who is the murderer, the audience votes, and then whoever it is, they go with that route at the end, at the next intermission point. It's pretty great. Oh, I think that is like a bear or like a fishing bear under there. It's and then a there's fishing bear. A, a griffin above there, or like a hawk. Yeah, of course. I chased after the Yadagarasu that entered the Babalese embassy right away. And that is also why I'm making this arrest right now. Because at the end of my long chase, there was only this girl. No! In any case, this is what I believe happened tonight. Second idea. Open the organizer. I want to see- I can't see, see the pro- oh, hang on. You can't see the profiles? Hang on. Uh, so oh, she's not going to do the embassy. Now we can go to the organizer. The confusion caused by the fire. Okay. Let's look at profiles. I want to look at- Okay, there's Sheena. Yup, yup, okay. Now I want to see Callisto Yu's sister. We don't have her as a- We don't have her as a profile? Do we have the no. newspaper? No, nope. Dang it, it could have been, um, Eeny Miny by times two with reconstruction surgery to look like her sister. Wait, are you saying that Sheena is Callisto Yu or Sheena is CC? Sheena is Callisto Yu that changed herself to look more like her sister so some of the traits would be gone. Potentially. I don't think CCU's alive anymore. Uh, okay. Sorry. Are you saying that the Yadagarasu was not the arsonist who started the fire? A suspicious person in a long coat was spotted in the area. Officers in the area claim to have seen the person start the fire. Hmm. It sounds like we have a phantom in our midst. Um, yeah. In a way, he could be considered a phantom with the way he randomly appears. Furthermore, the girl claims to be the Yadagarasu. Just because she calls herself that doesn't prove that she is a killer. No, but it does give her a motive. The Yadagarasu sent a card saying, I will be there to steal your dirtiest secret. Furthermore, there are documents pertaining to some smuggling activity in this room. She obviously wanted to steal them. So she killed Mr. Cochin for the key. I see. Her logic is very sound. I expected nothing less of Agent Lane's secretary. However, that statement just now didn't sound right. It might just be the opening I need. Ba, 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 she wanted ba, to steal ba, documents regarding smuggling, ba, so she killed Mr. Kocher for the key. Ba, 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 ba. So you're claiming that Kay knew that a foreign country's embassy had such documents? As stated in the calling card, the Yadagarasu was out to steal a dirty secret. Which means that the goal tonight was to steal those smuggling activity documents. You have it all wrong! It was the fake that sent that card! Your words are meaningless. If you're truly innocent, then let's see some proof. How about you show I us love, some proof that I she sent the card? I love how she's just staring off into space like, Whoa. Um, hey, Mr. Edgeworth, I leave it to you to handle this. Yes, I'd rather you did. The Yadagarasu's goal, huh? You can claim she's innocent, but you can't change the facts I've already outlined. And most importantly... There's no one else who could move the body. I really don't think that being the first to discover the body makes her the killer by default. 
<laughs> Otherwise, the prosecution would arrest all the correct murderers. By default, the my court. favorite way to win. No, but if you saw the self-purported Yadagarasu <laughs> standing in front of the body. <laughs> if they actually did that, they would catch the real criminals a lot more. Where it's like, Richard Wellington, hey, I, I, I just saw this girl kill him. You're under arrest for finding the body. He was the killer. Yeah. Frank saw it. But also, I saw Mr. This guy. Edgeworth the girl would be arrested as well. Actually, wait, both of those are Winston Payne's fault. Winston Payne is a terrible prosecutor. Yes, he in is. In terms of talent. <laughs> okay. Bless you. Uh, sorry, I had something in my nose. Wouldn't you get a little suspicious yourself? I'm imagining yeah. her, like, in the middle of the sentence, just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> They couldn't animate it, though. <laughs> Even so, I'd still listen to what that person had to say before I passed judgment. Huh. Are you talking about yourself in those times when you were under suspicion? I think the pain of being falsely accused is something you really should experience. I personally know that feeling really well, sir. I've been falsely accused twice. And given my situation, I now know exactly what it's like, too. I'm fine with never experiencing it. Ever. Are you done with your little group conversation? Conversion. So, so Agent Shina suspects K of murder simply because K is the Yadagarasu. But if I can prove that the Yadagarasu's goal is not related to murder, I may be able to begin to reason with her. What is Sheena backwards? On East. On East. On East. On East. I like that. That's okay. so hard to say. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, appa um, apparently something I learned, like, um, the reason accents exist is, like, after I think you reach the age of 12, you can't really learn how to pronounce new, like, syllables. Or, like, new, like, sounds. So, like, for example, the American alphabet has all the different sounds, mm -hmm. like, eh, eh, like, ch. Yeah. And, like, if there's a language where, like, you don't have the ch sound in English, like, it's almost impossible for you to learn to pronounce ch. That explains a lot, actually, because I had a lot of, not just friends, but, like, friends' parents who were from, like, China or mm -hmm. Japan. And I have my Japanese teacher, for example, perfect English. Could yeah. never say, like, A or the. Ever. Because she's- in Japanese, you don't have articles. Whatsoever. Right. It's more- and the- how you set up the language is differently, too. It's more like how Yoda would speak. The most mm -hmm. important thing to the end with the verb. Okay. And also, I think that might be why, like, Asian people often can't pronounce the difference between L and R. Yeah. I'm also bad at that sometimes. No, no judgment. Like, no it's judgment more like a law. Like, lamen. Mm -hmm. It's like a cross between an L and an R. So, in English, when there's L and R, they don't know. They the... don't have. It's like their their version of R. Uh, what is it? Daddy do do. It's like almost like an, a D, an R, and an L all together. Yeah. Yeah. That. It's like really, really difficult. Interesting. It's hard when you're learning it in another language, and then it's really hard to learn English from there. Right. So. Here's one scene where I'm like, well, do we present the key? Because, like, the key was what still in- What if Shina in. steals the key and then she's like, ah! <laughs> okay. <Gosh. laughs> um, so do well, we present the key here because it was in his pocket? Do we present the crime scene notes because sure. it was in his pocket? Or do we present the documents because they were still in the safe? I would say- And she say, didn't steal them. Well, Bum, let's start with the documents just because. Objection. There you go. <laughs> He's like, I got this. Agent Sheena, I regret to inform you, but there is a flaw in your logic. Oh. Even if you claim that she is the killer, and that the Yadagarasu is her, I am certain that securing the smuggling documents is not the motive behind the murder. The key to the safe in this room was found on Mr. Cochin's body. Furthermore, the Yadagarasu would not be so stupid as to leave without the documents. <laughs> oh, hey, how about that? I love that! Wait! <laughs> she's like, uh, oof. She's got the that same- That can't be- that can't be Kosto Yu! Kosto Yu never sweat! <laughs> she also never smiled, but- Kosto Yu same... absolutely smiled. She, oh, she laughed, laughed all the lot, time! But she didn't have that creepy smile. Well, but, um, she's sweating like the, uh, embassy leader. Polano, yeah. Polano! Maybe it's a thing that you learn in Interpol. How to sweat? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, how to conceal your normal... Because she used to... Callisto Yu used to laugh non-stop. She had to become super serious. So maybe in Interpol they're like, this okay, is how you... we can teach you how to stop laughing, but you're going to sweat a lot more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, she's Deal. sweating because she's trying to contain it. It's like when you're trying to hold back, you're like... 
know. <laughs> when you're vegan and haven't told someone you're vegan in a whole minute. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> Don't offend everyone. I only offended Tanya the vegan. By the simple fact that the documents were still in the safe when we looked, it's obvious that the killer's target was not the safe at all. Interesting, she doesn't have a hold it sound. No. Maybe they did that on purpose to conceal the fact that she's <laughs> no! still <is> Tokyo. <laughs> no! <laughs> then perhaps she didn't know that Mr. Cochin had the key on him. If that's the case, then why would she have needed to kill him? Because I can think of no reason for her to kill him if she had not known that fact. Need reason? All of this is simply our conjecturing after the fact. She's speaking recently after. The, the fact. fact. It's like when you're listening to the Bible app guy. <laughs> it was like, it's like, you should put this he's at so, times two I speed. I put it on times two speed because he's so slow. So then it's like, and then David said, go. And, like, yeah, which is, which is like, a normal. And, and then, then David, David said, said go, go, my people, my people and, and kill, kill everyone. everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's entirely possible that she accidentally killed him when she was sneaking in. Accidentally killed? Perhaps she didn't notice the safe second compartment before returning the key. Nah! But the fact still remains that Mr. Cochin was stabbed to death. Objection! But you have no definitive proof that it was Kay who committed the act. Actually, I do. I saw her holding the knife she used on the victim with my own eyes. W what Allow me to tell you a bit more about the evidence that will put her away behind bars. Go! Round two! Definitive evidence. The knife wound on the body is consistent with the blade on the knife. The blade with the butterfly handle is the murder weapon which the killer was holding. I assume she obtained the knife from the display rack and used it on the victim. The knife is part of a special three-piece set which is, has a design like no other. The evidence and testimony, it all points to the girl. There's no counter-argument. Here's the thing, though. The knife that she supposedly used still has the fancy schmancy butterfly butterfly thing on it, and the others have burned to a crisp. Mm -hmm. So that would have been very strategic fire. Right. Ugh, th that is your definitive evidence. You see now that she's definitely the killer, right? No! Mr. Edgeworth, you gotta believe me! I saw a suspicious person in a long black coat outside of the embassy, I swear. Someone in pants. It's Elsa! It's Elsa! Elsa wears pants! Take him down! <laughs> and you came in here because you were chasing the suspicious person. How many people, like, have only seen the Frozen movies are like, Elsa never wears pants? pants? What are you talking about? It's a musical. <laughs> That's right! I, I ran into the office only because I was chasing after the person. People who watch our videos are going to be like, these people are obsessed with Elsa wearing pants <laughs> and Brian Mac and cheese. cheese. And also, um... And Von Karma, which is pretty weird. And spas. And spas. John Deere tractors. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> when I entered the room, it was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. I felt something on the ground next to my foot, so I turned on the lights. But then... Ah! Who's there? This is... I came to this room upon hearing the girls scream. And when I saw her holding the knife, I immediately restrained her. So the object Kay felt by her feet on the floor was the murder weapon? So someone stabbed the guy and went, Ugh! Yeah. <laughs> threw it across the room. I like that we both had that same idea. And then just vaporized. Yeah. No. They wouldn't vaporize. They'd but jump out the window or something. There, I don't know. Is there a window? <laughs> this is on like the fourth floor. I hate the fourth floor. <laughs> 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 Last time I was up here, so I got my crystal meth and the vending machine. Oh it's my gosh. Place. Oh my gosh. I had the knife analyzed right away, but was fa we failed to find anyone's prints on it. But the suspicious person in the black coat who came into the room before me! You continue to insist there was such a person, but if there was, where did they go? That, I don't know. But I know they came in here! That sounds like the desperate excuses of a suspected killer. Not a trustworthy testimony. You understand, don't you? Can't trust this girl's words, Mr. Edgeworth. Ugh. She has a point. Even if Kay's words are the truth, I must show that they are with some solid evidence. Maybe it's like Paper Mario 2, 
where underneath the statue, there's a secret holding room that the killer went under. How big do you think that statue is? I don't know. I, I saw it in comparison to the... It, no, it, think like in the girls' bathroom in Harry Potter. Oh. When the thing like goes up and then there's stairs. Mm. Maybe it's something like that. Think happy. Oh, that was not what I was thinking. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I, I really didn't. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> if you didn't do it, then there must exist a way for me to prove that. Still not giving up, I see. In that case, try to counter my argument if you can. Don't worry, I can and I will. <laughs> Think happy. Definitive Think evidence. Happy. Knife wound on the body consistent. <laughs> I'm taking out all verbs. Does that mean you have already have the results back? We have confirmed that the shape of the Babalese knife's blade matches the wound. Please do not confuse the efficiency of Interpol's forensics teams with your own. I won't if you don't underestimate our police force. And so we're clear, I hardly say your logic is sound, which you will see in a bit. If you can prove me wrong, please, by all means, go ahead. That has been my intention all along. Now let us return to the testimony. With the butterfly handle is the murder weapon. I'm glad that she's a bigger character now, she not. Yeah, she was barely in the first case. She yeah. just existed handling stuff, basically. She was kind of like, um, Julie. Judy. Judy, do the thing! Oh, right, Julie. Jean. Julie! Ah, I thought you were saying Judy, sorry. No, I'm Judy. Welcome to Boston. Yeah! Say. No. <laughs> Wait, was it Julie or Jean Lee? It's Julie! That's right, you named Julie. your battleship after your assistant? I accidentally skipped that. Oh, well. That's fine. <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> you <laughs> named your battleship after your assistant? Yes. <laughs> I was also on the search for the Yadagarasu. When I heard that girl screaming come from the room, I rushed over straight away. When I arrived, I saw that girl standing there motionless with the knife in her hand. No, wait, Jean Lee is a Chinese name. Julie is a name. Never mind. I was like, I've, I've heard the name Jean Lee before. Yes. Is she in Street Fighter or something? Maybe? No, that's Ling Lee or Ling Ling? I, Ling Ling. Who's the chick, Lili? Who's the chick with the... I buns, don't know! With the buns and the blue? I was, I was always Dulcim and Bianca and E. Honda. You were E. Honda. I don't know e what Honda I was. was I was the guy that looked vaguely like the Hulk. That was Bianca. And uh, J DJ. <laughs> DJ. But I already told you. I only came in here because I was also after the Yadagarasu. It's just the same thing over and over again. The suspicious person I saw came into the room. When I entered, it was pitch dark. I felt something by my foot on the floor, so I turned on the lights, yes. and then... You found out that it was the murder weapon at your feet. feet. How many times do I have to tell you we can't trust the words of a suspect? The only thing you'll accept is evidence, is it? That's the only acceptable way to counter an agent of the Interpol on the scene of the crime. Mr. Edgeworth, you have some kind of evidence that can prove me innocent? I think I do, because there is one piece of evidence I find to be a bit... Interesting. So it's probably one that doesn't go with anything else. I think I need to carefully examine that piece of evidence again. The knife? The, the, the Thank thing. the knife. Hold it. I ask that you please refrain from speculation. It's a sound hypothesis derived from the evidence. There's no room for debate. Nah! That's what I do! Miles Edgeworth. Know that an ungrateful loss will not be tolerated, my subordinate. Why doesn't Francesca have her own hold it in, uh, voice? That's what I Maybe because she's also secretly hiding it. No, I'm kidding. Now, rebut- rebut? Rebut. Rebut. Rebut! I, was, I thought it was a K. My bad. A K without an E, so it would have been spelled wrong. Rebut! 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 Now, rebut her hypothesis with factual logic. Otherwise, what was your investigation for? Well, I found stuff you didn't. Yes, you are correct. Thank you. <laughs> Helping a subordinate out with advice is the job of any good superior. She seems to be rather enjoying herself, but she is correct nonetheless. Agent Sheenaw, please continue with your testimony. Secret Agent May! Agent P! About the three-piece set, is there really no other like it? Let's ask Ambassador Pellino for more in detail, shall we? The knives are indeed special. His hands are like the size of her face. <laughs> He's just that's closer. Like, yeah, that doesn't really work in real life. They, they have the butterfly, the symbol of the Republic of Babal, engraved on them. 
And because there are only three of them in the world, they are very, very valuable. The national symbol, huh? Well, the knives are covered in the butterfly design. Along with the Alabastian set, our respective countries only have three knives each. That's all we're allowed. Wow. War wars are very boring. We only have three people with knives. <laughs> I so it's see. Just, it's like a big battle that, like... <laughs> big purple guys. No, it'd be like, peop you would... Here's what would happen. It'd be a war, and they would, like, sell merchandise and stuff. It's like, fight to the death! Whoever wins of these six people... <laughs> Gets, gets the, the knives. <laughs> gets the knives and, like, gets their choice of the countries. Are you satisfied now? If so, let's continue. Uh, and it is just moody. <laughs> no, I believe there is still room for debate, and I'll thank you for not to deciding that for me. I didn't decide anything for you. I'm merely looking at reality the way it is. Objection! <laughs> Are you sure you're not just viewing the facts through rose-colored glasses? <laughs> and she puts on her glasses. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I think she's mad at you. Perhaps. But our definitions of reality are a tad different. Are the two of you done chatting? I like her sunglasses better. Agent Shinaw's proof is the Babali's knife that Kay was allegedly holding. Yeah! So, um, how are you gonna prove that Kay didn't do it, sir? If Agent Shinaw wants to suspect Kay merely because Kay was the only one here, then I must show with evidence that Kay couldn't have committed the murder. Um, but do you have such evidence, sir? Yes, there is one piece of evidence that seems very unnatural to me. Was CCU super pale compared to Celeste? Who is Celeste? Callisto. Yes, she was paler she than was Callisto. She was paler? Maybe, Judging by the newspaper maybe she article. faked her own death and then went into hiding and got into Interpol. Or maybe she like mm. convinced a bribe or something instead of like, you could go to jail. It's Camp Lake or jail. Like that it kind Camp of, Green Lake or, or jail. jail. But well, instead of I've that- I've never been jail before. <laughs> <laughs> Holst becomes a very different movie. No, but it's a different, instead of like going to jail, she ends up working for Interpol, which I feel like can happen. There are people, no, but there are criminals who redo their lives by working for the police. For the police and stuff. So there's that. It could be she's. You in wouldn't the... go to Interpol, though. No, but it could be she climbs the ranks. It's been several years. Okay, okay. It's been several years. That's... She does that, and then Callisto uses like, mm, we could work together, sister. Thought you were dead. How's oh. it going? And that would oh that that could also explain why Callisto you wasn't really upset about her death in the past. Yeah, because she, she knew, knew was... or she didn't. Uh, or she's she just, just hated person. her sister. Another Iris Dolly situation. That's a, I like that theory. It could be. I, I still think it's her. Though. And I believe it is my duty to point out that the, the, the Asian Sheena. All right. Looking at the knife, Bobby's knife. One of a set of three ornamental lives covered in the victim's blood. Blood, same as the. That one, one looks different than. But let's check. Check. Check, please. So this is what took Mr. Cochin's life. Some oh, of his weird, blood is like, still on the blade. There's a weird gold thing on the knife that's not connected to the blade. It's part of the handle. Wow! It's been- I've been a detective for seven years already? I've seen a lot of weapons in my days. But knives were that were used to kill are always the hardest for me to bear. Yet, unlike guns, it is one of the weapons you're likely to find the victim's blood on it. Yeah, just like how this one is practically drenched in it, huh, sir? Despite that, it looks like the blood managed to miss the handle somehow. They stuffed the handle on it later. The knife is part of a three-part set. Knife wound is consistent with the blade on the knife. Absolutely not. I, mean, I did not realize that's what she said. Objection! Even you can't talk your way out of the contradiction if this piece of evidence points out. I guess not. Hmm. <laughs> I knew it. Because I don't need to talk my way out of it. B but it's... I don't like to waste time delving into subjects that don't warrant a response. Nah! It would appear that I was mistaken. Oh! Wrong statement, maybe? The knife wound is consistent with the Is it this one? There we go. Okay. Wrong. Just wrong statement. So the murder weapon was the knife with the butterfly design on it. But is that really the truth? What are you getting at? I'd like for you to take a look at this. There is a blood on the blade, 
And yet there's not a speck of blood on the handle. Yep. This signifies that at the time of the crime, a different handle was attached to the blade. The knife that Kay was holding had its handle switched and was in fact not the real murder weapon. It wasn't the real murder weapon. This knife can be taken apart. Shall we give it a go? Kucha. As you can see, the Babali's knife has now been disassembled into two parts. The killer must have pulled the murder weapon out of the victim's body and proceeded to swap the knife's original handle with this butterfly one. It was all to create the illusion that Mr. Cochin was killed with the butterfly-themed knife. Uh, <laughs> Her hair flew back. This should clear up any and all suspicions surrounding Kay. Oh, it that was so quick that I couldn't actually react. <laughs> <laughs> I like just was like, oh, my goodness. Bother. Hair. Oh, bother. Somebody's fibbing. Bobble these knife handle data. I dropped down in my organizer. Your argument isn't airtight yet. How so? It's possible that the girl herself is the one who switched the handles. Don't be ridiculous. For what purpose would she do such a thing? I don't care to know how a criminal thinks. The way they view the world is beyond the comprehension of a normal person like myself. Therefore, I wouldn't put anything past them, no matter how odd it may seem. <laughs> the truth is right there in front of you, and this knife will show you the way. You will come to see that Kay is not and could not have been Mr. Cochin's killer. Right, because the knife was in Manny Cochin's pocket. And no, the that's same... the wrong knife. No, but it's the same pattern as that one. Isn't it? No. I have bad eyes. Okay. There is quite a bit of Mr. Cochin's blood on the blade. Thanks to being a prosecutor, I guess I have become accustomed to seeing blood. But this is not what is important right now. Da, 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 da. What is this mark on here? It's the mark of a flower. I assume you know what this means. No, not really. Butterflies rest on flowers all the time to drink their sweet nectar. And so they do. However, would this but butterfly really need... <laughs> However, would this butterfly really drink the nectar of this flower? The answer is clearly not a chance. Now to prove the relationship between the butterfly and the flower with this. The symbol of the... the key. Steel Samurai's autograph! No! This piece of evidence will make everything clear to you. <laughs> I can't quite figure out what you're trying to prove with that. I... that is... If you are that uncertain, then I demand you try again! Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I, I was about to do. I British with her. It would appear, again. I mean, it would appear this piece of evidence was not sufficient enough. I should think this over once again, calmly and rationally. Logic. Take that! Y you can't be serious. Hmm. <laughs> it appears that you've made the connection. The flower on this blade is designed after a certain country's national symbol. That's right. The Kingdom of Alabast. In other words, this blade is from one of Alabast's ornamental knives. Ah. This part of the knife handle has Babal's national symbol of the butterfly on it. Therefore, it is undeniably Babali's in origin. But as we both know, you can't just kill someone with a knife handle. Incidentally, when exactly did the murder occur again, Agent Shinon? Uh, 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 after the fire had broken out. That's right. Kay entered the Babali's embassy after the fire had taken place. Furthermore, she had not been to the Alabastian side of the building before Maybe. then. Maybe. Ooh, Steel Samurai went to that side, right? Maybe. He went from the Babali side to the Alabastian side. Whoever is Sheena is Sheena. Other party is dressed up as the samurai. Goes into the place. Which one? Uh, Alabast? Well, where, wherever it was to the left. I can't remember. That's Alabast. That's Alabast. Goes in there and they're like, There's a fire! Oh no! We're all gonna die! And then he's there. He, she, whoever it is. Mm -hmm. And then they can work together. Oh, so you think the Steel Samurai's in on this? Maybe. Mm. Well, every time we've had the Steel Samurai show up, it's been someone in the costume! Yeah, cause- they... Every time! So- Yeah, cause the Steel Samurai isn't real. <laughs> but, it, no, but I'm saying, like, someone uses the costume for their own malicious intentions. Ex every time. It happened that way in the Steel Samurai mm -hmm. case? It happened that way in the Matt Ongard case? That's true. All right. On top of that, not a single person passed between the two countries during the fire. Which means that Kay could not have transported an Alabastian object over here. 
This makes it impossible for her to be the true killer. She's not wearing a wig. Otherwise, um, it would have gone off. No, no. Wig caps. They're a thing. Flesh colored wig, cap, wig caps. But wouldn't the wig have blown off since it's just no, blue? No, you can, you can do a back bend when you're wearing a wig. You have bobby pins to secure it. Oh, the more you know. Yeah. Whoa! Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth, sir! I didn't know you had bobby pins to secure a wig! <laughs> what a great victory! Mm hmm. Huh? Hey, why is everyone so quiet? I'm happy we got this far and cleared Kay's name. But what worries me now is what will happen next. Objection! What is the meaning of this? An alabastian knife? Here? Do you mean... How did this find its way to the Republic of Babal? It doesn't just find its way over, rather we should focus on how it was smuggled over. You know what? My brain hurts thinking about it when we're just standing around. Thinking while you're on the run? Now that's the way a real thi great thief operates. Okay. Oh, thanks a bunch, Mr. Edgeworth, for proving me innocent, I mean. You believed me in me the whole time, right? Tell me you did. Um, not really, but... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you don't have to be shy about it. Your argument is still not airtight. Would you care to elaborate? I understand now that the girl did not commit the murder. However, there is still the possibility that she's the Adagarasu. That again? Look, how many times do I have to explain it to you? I am the real Yadagarasu. I'm not like that fake one that goes around setting fires, okay? Whether you're the real deal or fake, it doesn't really matter. All I have to say is this. I have my suspicions that this girl is the one who started the fire. Maybe accidentally. Preposterous! On what grounds do you suspect her of such a thing? The fact that she calls herself the Yadagarasu. That is in itself the most elegant proof. Sheena! Yes? I have no intention of taking back any of what I've said. I am the great thief Yadagarasu, and I refuse to allow some imposter to take that name as their own. That path of justice that my father pointed me towards, I will walk it the best I can! It's not good to be so stubborn. I hope you can understand that. Thanks a lot for the concern, Miss Sheena. Let me share something with you, too, as a token of my appreciation. Those sunglasses totally do nothing for you, so I'll steal them from you next time, okay? What? <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I guess we better get going. Going? To where? To the kingdom of Olibas. If we don't go, we won't know for sure, right? I suppose not. We won't get anywhere simply by standing here thinking. To see where the Alabastian knife came from. We'll have to pay the Alabastian Embassy a visit. Wham. Let's go, Miles Edgeworth. As you are my subordinate, I will not tolerate you bringing the investigation to a halt. Hmm. <laughs> Understood. Oh yeah, we're going maybe, to Alabas now! Sweet! Maybe K. To be continued. Maybe K. Oh, that was perfect timing. That it's definitely Callisto you. And Sheena, she's just like, by the way, ditch those sunglasses. <laughs> and she's like... I hate me? this girl. I hate this girl. <laughs> so that that's great. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. We're going to Alabast. That's going to be a lot of fun. I really like exploring Alabast. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Anyhow, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. I want it to be covered in gold. Just everywhere. It's the rich side You're of the You're going country. to be disappointed. It's the poor side of the country. It's the side of the country that is obsessed with cheese.